What's going on guys and welcome back to another Vikings franchise gameplay. For those of you who are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I post a lot of franchise gameplays on this channel. Not only the Minnesota Vikings, but I also post the Washington football team. So if you're looking for franchise gameplays to watch on YouTube, that's what you want to look for. That's what you're trying to find. You have finally found the right place to be. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss out on a single upload I have to offer for you. Without further ado, let's get into this week seven matchup as our Vikings are gearing up, getting ready to take on the two and three Packers who have had a bit of a struggle to the start of their season. But before we get into the game right there, we actually have some GMing to do. Uh, Tampa, these, um, not Tampa Bay, these Vikings, we had, we're, we were in talks with the Dallas Cowboys earlier on in the season about a potential trade. And the trade that that same trade has actually came up again here in week number seven. Our Vikings ended up accepting the trade, or the Cowboys ended up accepting our trade, looking for Tyron Smith and Anthony Brown. This time around, the Cowboys lowered their um, asking price. Or initially, they were asking for our first, second, and third, and we were going to send it to them, but Madden just Madden stopped that trade. Madden said, no, come on now. You're not going to do that. I'm not even going to allow that. So we ended up sending the trade again, uh, or he ended up sending the trade again to me in week number seven, asking just for our first round draft pick. And I was like, all right, cool. Yeah, I'll go ahead and accept that. Initially, I wanted to do, make this trade anyways, just because I have a rookie quarterback at, um, I have a rookie quarterback in the quarterback position. I wanted to make sure that, sure that he's protected or protected. Um, Spencer, Spencer Brown, our original left tackle, was the guy that our, our only star lineman that we had there. Who was he? Was don't get me wrong. Spencer Brown was doing his thing there at the left tackle position. But now that we have Tyron Smith there, we're going to leave Tyron Smith at the left tackle position. He's a much stronger left tackle than Brown ever was. And I think, in, anyways, I ended up moving Brown when I drafted him. I think I drafted him as like a center or whatever, and I moved him out to left guard, uh, left tackle. But we're going to move him back inside now. Move him to the right guard position. Change his ability up a little bit um, since he is going to be in that guard position he we are definitely going to be putting on uh, those uh, pulling uh, pulling superstar abilities starting with nasty streak if you don't put nasty streak on a right guard what are you really doing and then we're going to try out the puller elite that might be a little bit of overkill um, I mean we're just trying things out just seeing what we got here at the left guard or at the right guard position never really had a superstar right guard before so we're going to try these abilities out see how Spencer Brown does he should be getting a whole lot of pancake blocks for us I'm hoping at least I mean with nasty streak and puller elite I'm expecting bodies to be hitting the floor we should not be having an instance like we had in week number five where Vita Vea just destroyed the inside of our offensive line like hopefully this move this trade just completely solved that uh, that um that situation that's honestly what this trade was all about, just gearing up to help us figure out a way to beat Tampa Bay Buccaneers again. Because we already know we're go that's going to be the team that we run into come playoff time. Uh, but yeah, taking a look at the defense now, because that was also part of the, uh, the trade. We ended up making the trade for Anthony Brown, who's not the best corner at all. As you see, he's only a 79 overall. Definitely not going to start on the team at the cornerback position. But we are going to look at moving him to the free safety position because he does have 95 speed. And Anthony Harris, I love him dearly, but my guy is just a step too slow. I think he has like, what, 89 speed at Anthony Harris. I think we're going to take a uh, look at him here. You see me make the move. Um, Anthony Harris' speed as I go over to his stats. Oh, I actually blessed him. I gave him three extra speed. Anthony Brown only has 86 speed, and he's not really known as a hitter, but I cannot make that. I cannot just dog my man like that. Anthony Brown, uh, Anthony Harris, he has still come up and made plays for me. Don't He may be slow, but he is a he's straight up playmaker. But here we are underway on Lambeau or at Lambeau Field. Minnesota Vikings coming into today's matchup with a record of 6 and 0, but uh, the Packers coming in with a record of 2 and 3. Pretty much a very uh, been a struggle season so far for these Packers. Want to look to try to right the ship here against the division rivals um, in this matchup. Let's see what goes on. Second and 9, Jordan Love drops back to throw, ends up hitting Marquez Valdez Scamp, I believe that is on the drag route. Gets him to a third and two from the 33-yard line. Hand off to Aaron Jones. And Jones has got a lane all the way across the 50. Finally brought down uh, at the 42-yard line. Huge gain of about 20 yards there for Aaron Jones on his second carry of the day. On first and 10, Jordan Love looking for someone to throw to. Can't find anybody. Decides to take off with this one. Picks up the first down. Gets nailed out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Packers are moving the ball very easily on this opening drive. Read option. Jordan Love decides to hand this one off to Jones. He's able to get another huge chunk of yards. Seven yards on that first down carry. 
brought down at the 23-yard line. Second and short here, Jordan Love under center going to hand this off to the uh, tight end playing fullback, and that stopped right up at the line of scrimmage. May, may have gained a yard, didn't really look like he got anything. Third and two play action, Jordan Love ends up hitting Aaron Jones out the backfield, but Christian Harris is all over that, stopping him, bringing up a fourth and one from the 22-yard line, but the Packers feel the need to go for it. They want to keep this drive going. On first, uh, fourth and goal, they're going to hand the ball off to Aaron Jones, and he gets it easily. Out of all the plays, I was not expecting the inside zone there to Aaron Jones. It uh, ends up picking up the first down to the 11-yard line. First and 10 here for the Green Bay Packers. They have a chance to pick up the first, about the first down, but I don't think they're worried about first down. They want touchdown, and that's exactly what they're going to get here on first down across the middle. We looked like we made the tackle initially to stop him short. I thought about challenging it, but it's all good because it's Madden. Madden has a way of working his way out as the kicker ends up missing the extra point attempt. And the Packers go up six points on their opening drive. So could have been worse. He could have made the he could have made the kick, made it a seven point lead. So Minnesota Vikings have a chance to take the lead here on their opening drive answer. McNeil back in the shotgun formation, going to flip the play, hand the ball off to Dalvin Cook to see if we can get something going in the running game. But Jahir Alexander has something other to say about that, stopping us for a loss of three yards there. Now second and 13, McNeil back to throw, looking and ends up finding Adam Thielen across the middle, who makes a beautiful diving catch down to the 41-yard line. First and 10, jet sweep here with Justin Jefferson, see if he's able to turn the corner and pick up a block, and he's just unable to do any of that. This Packers defense is actually pretty quick. Uh, Jefferson only able to pick up two yards on that jet sweep pass there. Second and 11, looking to make a play with McNeil, and that one's going to be intercepted by Darnell Savage. Bit of a force there by Bradley McNeil. Hindsight, I really should not have thrown that ball, but I was just looking for something, anything to come open, and nothing happened. Uh, Packers now with the chance to go up two scores here in the first quarter. Uh, start things off with a handoff to Aaron Jones and come back again on second down. It worked so well the first time. Why not go back to, uh, to Aaron, uh, Aaron Jones? Picks up the first down. Now at the 40-yard line, play action to – who is that? I don't know who, uh, what receiver that is, but he ends up making the catch down to the 30-yard line. Jordan Love on the play action, rolls out to his right. Just a complete overthrow on his uh, for his tight end, Steinberger. That's his name. Come back on second and 10, try to run the read option, and Eric Kendricks puts a quick stop to that. Uh, first quarter has finally come to the end now, starting the second quarter with the third and 13. Handoff to Aaron Jones, and he has a lane, and Aaron Jones is just running like a man on a mission right now. Needed 13, picked up 14 as he fought through the tackle there at Anthony Harris, I believe. First and 10 from outside the red zone. Uh, Jordan Loves ends up looking for Aaron Jones again. Why not? He's been the workhorse for these first two drives for the Packers. Just unable to make the catch there on first down. But the run game has been working lovely for Aaron Jones. Gains three yards there on second down. Now third and seven from the 16-yard line. Jordan Love looking to pass this ball to Steinberger. And that ball is knocked away. And the Packers are going to have to settle for a field goal. But... Just like on the extra point kick, the kicker just misses this one from the 23-yard line. The uh, the Vikings take over. First and 10, uh, under center. McNeil's going to hand this ball off to Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook is in the open field, swerving Packers defenders left and right, and Dalvin Cook is off and running. Nobody's going to catch him. Into the end zone. What is that? 77 yards. Dalvin Cook has, his, has the first Vikings touchdown of the day. Big play right there. Dalvin Cook. If you don't know it already, it's human joystick. You get this man, Dalvin Cook, in the open field, it's game over. I'm just going to swerve you left and right until I find the lane, and I'm gone. He, Dalvin Cook also has 94 speed now. My, my guy's a complete animal. Setting up the screen here to Aaron Jones here on first down. Uh, Aaron Jones is able to pick up a game at about 13 yards up to the 38-yard uh, line. Jordan Love hands the ball right back off to Aaron Jones, and Aaron Jones continues to work hard for this Packers offense, gaining six yards on first down. Aaron Jones is on his way to have an amazing day. Eventually, these we're going to have to stop him, and when we try to focus in, key in on stopping him, Marquez Valdez-Scantley beats us in the passing uh, game. Beautiful corner out there, beautiful throw there by Jordan Love, and of course he's going to try to dance on us into the end zone. This is a division game. Packers are also going to try rubbing in a little bit more and go for two here to uh, kind of make up for those two missed field goal opportunities. Hand the ball to Aaron Jones, who just completely runs through Anthony Harris, extends the ball across the uh, the, the line of uh, and gets into the end zone. So Packers now ex extend the lead up to even 14 or seven points, I should say. Um, we got to figure out a way to stop Aaron Jones, man. 
point blank and simply. He's the guy. He's the one that's really hurting us. Um, Dalvin Cook hurt the uh, Packers on the last drive. Let's see if we can get him going again. First down doesn't really go anywhere. Packers were able to swarm Dalvin Cook. Second down, very resemblance of first down, only gaining two yards there. Third and five here from the 35-yard line. We're going right back to Dalvin Cook, and this time he's able to fight through the tackle, picks up six yards on the five yards that we needed, and keeps the sticks moving for the pack or for the Vikings. Uh, McNeil drops back to throw here on first down, looking and finding his old re reliable receiver, Adam Thielen. Makes the catch across the 30, gets uh, or across the 50 down to inside the 30 to the 28 yard line. First down, we hand the ball off to Dalvin Cook, and he's only able to gain two yards there on his first down carry. Second and eight, McNeil looking to put this ball in the air. Ends up connecting with Irv Smith Jr. No, that was uh, CJ Ham making the catch there. Gains a decent amount of yards. Now another thir uh, a third and short. Dalvin Cook gets the carry, makes a beautiful juke move, and just barely picked up enough of the yardage needed there on third down to keep the yard uh, the sticks moving for these Minnesota Vikings. Second and seven here from the 15 yard line. McNeil back in the shotgun formation, dropping back to throw, looking, finding Irv Smith Jr. across the 10 yard line, fights his way all the way down to the one yard line. Vikings are inside the five, hand the ball off to Dalvin Cook, and he's in there, easily swerves his way into the end zone for his second touchdown of the day. Minnesota Vikings answer the touchdown put up on the board by the Packers. Now the important extra point, and oh gosh. Packers are starting to rub off, uh, off on us as our kicker ends up missing the point to tie this game up. And now instead of having a tie game with one minute left in the second quarter, P Packers have a one-point lead, looking to extend this lead even more. First down, Jordan Love draws back the throw, ends up finding Valdez Scantley underneath, who takes a shot from Eric Kendricks. Ball's on the ground. Daniil Hunter recovers, and he's off and running. Tried to swerve Jordan Love, ends up getting tackled inside the five-yard line. Beautiful position here for our Vikings offense to start off from first and goal at the four-yard line. Hand off to Dalvin Cook, and just like last time, oh, no, not just like last time. Dalvin Cook has stopped this time, unable to swerve into the end zone, only gaining one yard. 30 seconds left here in the second quarter. Another handoff to Dalvin Cook. Beautiful juke move there at the two, and gets into the end zone for his third rushing touchdown of the day. Finally giving the Vikings a lead, and we're going to try to fix the score a little bit. Go for two right here. Bradley McNeil back in the shotgun formation. Uh, had the slants on the field looking can't find anybody McNeil running out of time and he's going to go down Kenny Clark comes through sacking McNeil on the two-point conversion and we'll just go ahead and take our five-point lead okay um and on the ensuing kickoff, 30 seconds left here for the Packers to try to put something, anything together. We just need our Vikings defense to hold up strong. And Daniil Hunter, heard me calling, comes through getting the sack. Vikings are going to call their first timeout. 27 seconds left. Hand off to Aaron Jones is stopped in the backfield. Uh, Montez Sweat knifing through, stopping him in the backfield. Third and 20 after another timeout. They're going to hand the ball off to Aaron Jones once more. And Christian Harris comes through, stopping him in the backfield. Vikings call all their timeouts, leaving 18, possibly, nope, 16 seconds left on this clock. See what Bradley McNeil and this uh, Vikings offense can do. First and 10 from the 47-yard line, no timeouts. McNeil's looking to throw, looking, finding Justin Jefferson on the sideline. Beautiful toe touch by our 99 overall wide receiver. Gets out of bounds at the 31-yard line. First and 10, looking, throwing, and unable to get this ball off as Kenny Clark comes through yet again. Sacking Bradley McNeil, Vikings with no timeouts. We might have been on the outside of field goal range there. Sucks that we end up taking the um, the sack. Definitely go to what came away with points. Maybe I got greedy. I don't know. Uh, what we learned through that first half, though, is the abilities that we're going to we're going to change these abilities up on Spencer Brown, our right guard. Um, we might need to put post up on him because every time we go to freaking double team Kenny Clark, this man is still breaking free. So post up is going to be coming to my guy here soon. Uh, first and ten, starting off the second half out the Wildcat formation with Dalvin Cook. Only able to gain about four yards there. Gets it to a second and six. Um, second and six handoff again to Dalvin Cook. He's able to run into the back of Earth Smith Jr. And ends up finding a lane as he breaks free. And Dalvin Cook is in open field. Off and running. Darnell Savage giving chase. And, oh, no, we're not scoring just yet. You, you remember when you danced into the end zone on me? Here you go. Hold that. Dalvin Cook. Breaks free, dances his way into the end zone for his fourth rushing touchdown of the game. We're only in the third quarter, and Dalvin Cook is having himself quite the day so far. I think he's approaching that 200-yard mark here. If he's not over it already, he's damn near close. 
Jordan Love here on the read option takes a shot from Christian Harris. Should have been a fumble as that was a beautifully timed hit stick. Losing two yards there on first down. Packers are going to call hurry up offense here from the 23 yard line. Jordan Love play action fakes to Aaron Jones looking to throw this ball deep under pressure. Gets this ball off in triple coverage and how is that not intercepted? Like somebody's got to come up with that. Madden ended up swerving me out the way but that's got to be an interception. Anyways third and 12. Christian Harris comes through again, meeting Jordan Love in the backfield, bringing him down for a huge loss on the play. And on the Packers' first possession of the second half, they're forced to punt this ball back to the Vikings, who already have a 12-point lead. Looking to extend it now If T.J. Green. Look at the beautiful uh, start position here. T.J. Green on the, uh, the nice little return. First and 10 right back to Dalvin Cook. And... Um, Shout out to the Madden, uh, Madden uh, EA Sports guys with the uh, general stability updates. I don't know why my guy's legs just disappeared. Dalvin Cook was literally running on his knees. Uh, third and 12 here from the 39-yard line. McNeil back to throw, looking, finding Adam Thielen, but unable to pick up the first down, just three yards short. I contemplate played it going for it here. I mean, league rules, I could have gone for it. But I was like, uh, nah, I'll just go ahead and put this ball away. Hindsight, if I would have known that punt was going to be that bad, probably would have gone for it. But it's all good. Vikings have a 12-point lead here halfway through the third quarter. Jordan Love is on the run, getting pressure from Daniel Hunter, gets that ball away. Receiver makes the catch, but unable to get two feet down in bounds. Uh, makes it a second 10 from the 20-yard line. Hand off to Aaron Jones, and oh my gosh, Christian Harris is just laying the wood. Imagine when this man gets his uh, uh, gets superstar abilities. Go ahead, put an enforcer on him. The hit six that he's performing in this game right now, he's guaranteed to drop, uh, cause a couple of fumbles here. Beautiful uh, throw there to Valdez Scantley on third and nine by Jordan Love. Uh, picks up the first down to the 35-yard line. First and 10 from the 35. Jordan Love rolling out to his right again, getting chased by Daniel Hunter. Gets away from it and slides down at the 43-yard line after picking up eight yards there on first down. Approaching midfield, Jordan Love under pressure once more. Ends up connecting to his uh, receiver, Lazard. Gets up to the 47-yard line, picking up the first down for the Packers. Hand off to Aaron Jones, and Eric Kendricks is getting in on the hit stick party, knocking him down after gaining one yard to the 49-yard line. Second and nine, hurry up offense here by the Packers. Jordan Love is still back in the shotgun formation, looking to throw, connecting with his uh, tight end, Steinberger. Picks up the first, or none. Doesn't pick up the first down, just gets across midfield. On third and three, ends up hitting Aaron Jones on the beautiful little angle route. Picks up the first down to the 31-yard line. Uh, Packers are slowly starting to chip away at this, but the thing is, this drive is taking up a lot of time right now. Already approach, approaching the uh, 32nd mark here in the third quarter, and they're not even in the red zone yet. There's still a whole nother quarter, but the way that our Vikings offense is moving, if they don't score quickly, they're not going to have time to come back in this one. Second and 11, Valdez scantily making the catch. Gets inside the red zone, brought down at the 16-yard line with five seconds left in the third quarter. Still calling hurry-up offense. Are they going to get this play off? And they are. It's a handoff to the running back, but he gets stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Basically goes nowhere. Starting the uh, fourth quarter here at the 16-yard line, Aaron Jones gets the carry, and he's brought down at the 13-yard line. Like I said before, the Packers are going to need to get in this end zone quick because their defense still needs to come up with a stop here. Third and seven, Aaron, uh, not Aaron Rodgers, Jordan Love play action to Aaron Jones and ends up hitting his tight end on a uh, nice little play action corner route there. Fourth and one from the eight-yard line. Got to anticipate that it's going off to Aaron Jones. We end up pinching the defensive lineman to just to stop the halfback dive. And doesn't matter anyways. He ends up breaking this outside. And Christian Harris makes the tackle, but not before he picks up the first down. First and goal from the four. Packers running hurry up offense here. Jordan Love under center. Drops back to throw. Looking for his tight end. Steinberger gets intercepted by Brian Cole, though. Uh, Vikings take over at the four-yard line with the ball. This is not a good look here for the uh, Packers. They're, they're going to need their defense to come through he, big here. First and ten, we hand the ball off to Dalvin Cook. Gets us a little bit of breathing room. Move this ball out to the nine-yard line. Second and five, right back to Dalvin Cook, who's able to dance around in the hole. Maybe a little bit too much. Maybe if We might have been able to take that one to the house if we stayed outside, but we still end up picking up the first down. The key to this drive right now is just chew up, chew up as much time as possible. And just go ahead and just end this game because the, at this point, the Packers need two scores. As long as we take this clock out of the um, out of commission with four minutes left, 
we're, we're good. As long as we, it, it doesn't even matter if we score. We could put up a field goal or we could put up seven points and just put it out the way. Just the thing I want to take is the clock. Third and four in danger of getting off the field early. Bra Bradley McNeil makes a nice little throw, threading the needle there to Irv Smith Jr. to the 28-yard line, keeping this drive alive. Right back to Dalvin Cook on first down, who had a lane, just got caught from behind. Brought down at the 37-yard line. Alexander Madison in there to give him a little bit of a break. McNeil drops back to throw. Ends up finding Adam Thielen once more, who makes another beautiful diving catch there across the 50 to the 49-yard line. First and 10, McNeil drops back to throw once more. Ends up connecting with Irv Smith Jr., who makes the catch stay in bounds, Irv. And he does. It brought down at the 42-yard line. Uh, Vikings hand the ball off to Dalvin Cook once more here on second and three. And Dalvin's open in open field all the way down to the 14-yard line. What is that? 213 yards on the day for Dalvin Cook. Had himself a day with four touchdowns. The only person who's struggling a little bit is Bradley Mina. I'd like to get him a touchdown. We try to get him a touchdown right here looking for Justin Jefferson. That ball is just severely overthrown there in the, well, yeah, in the red zone by Bradley McNeil. And we throw an interception, but it's all good. We did exactly what I said. I mean, we took as much, a lot of time off the clock. And with the way that the Packers have been moving this ball, they're not built to uh, score quickly, The over the quick score, one play touchdowns. But this isn't the kind of off. This is what this offense is built for. Uh, second and 12, intercepted by Eric Kendricks, but the flag is on the play. We already know what it is. It's going to be defensive pass interference. Well, Anthony Harris, I – disagree with that I feel like that was a perfectly timed hit stick that popped the ball free but Madden is Madden and they say no you got there a little bit early uh giving the ball right back to the Packers now first and 10 here from the 40, uh, 46 yard line under a minute left Packers are still running hurry up offense Jordan Love drops back to throw and he's going down Jonathan Allen coming through sacking him pretty much at the line of scrimmage I think he lost two yards there uh, second and 12 here from the 44-yard line after the sack. Jordan Love in the pocket, and he's going down once more. Jonathan Allen, and it looked like Anthony Barr combined, uh, combined on the sack there. Unfortunately, Daniil Hunter was hurt on the previous play. Yeah, we'll go ahead and keep him out. This game is over. Daniil Hunter's been getting injured a lot in this uh, CFM this year. I'm not sure if this is like the telltale sign that I might need to start thinking about getting rid of him soon. But, yeah, not looking good. Not looking good here on 4th and 14 as Jordan Love makes the completion underneath but ends up getting stopped well short of the first down marker. Vikings take over. Just going to run a couple plays here and pretty much end the game. So, uh, huge day on the ground for Dalvin Cook. Ended up leading the way for us. Bradley McNeil struggled a bit throwing those two interceptions. The last one was for sure my fault. Uh, Justin Jefferson didn't really have himself a good day because, I mean, Bradley McNeil didn't. But nevertheless, pa uh, Vikings end up getting the win, moving on to 7-0 and on the season. Vikings will drop down to 2-4 and on the year. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of our franchise gameplays that we have to offer on this channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.